Let me ask y'all a question. Were y'all born in the 90s? I'm sure some of you were. And if you're not, well, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, some of y'all might call me a boomer, but I honestly don't care because being a 90s kid, naturally, natively, born in the 90s, in the midst of the 90s, when all the greatness was going on, you had your amazing cartoons, great music, and not to mention Power Rangers. It's morphin' time! But we're not even here to talk about Pirates, we're actually here to talk about another colorful team, one of my personal favorites, the X-Men. Now, the X-Men had an animated series that actually, funny enough, relating to Power Rangers, had music composed by the same person, Ron Wasserman. So Ron Wasserman, of course, he is responsible for coming up with a lot of the songs that you might have heard within Power Ranger episodes, as well as everyone's favorite. Go, go, Power Rangers! With X-Men, he actually also wrote the theme song that is also very iconic because, you know, X-Men are godlike and that show is even more so than what I just said because I'm actually re-watching the original animated series right now off of Disney Plus and I have to admit, it is a lot better than I expected. But we're not really necessarily here to talk and reminisce about how godlike the 90s was and how godlike the animated series of X-Men was because there's a rumor that there's another one on the horizon. So what's going on guys, it's your boy Uj, of course, back again, once again, hitting you guys with another banger video. And this is gonna be a little quick video as far as updating you guys on this new rumor with the X-Men animated series in 2023, apparently. So this, of course, comes directly from the direct and they cover a lot of Marvel related news bits and they go on to say that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is in the age of expanding its small screen efforts and one approach is launching in the animated realm. What If served as the franchise first animated venture introducing stories within the multiverse. The show received the mixed reviews but it still effectively set up the premise of alternate realities running tangent to the prime MCU can. In the past months, mounting evidence proved that Marvel Studios is not done with animated projects. Dana Vasquez Eberhardt, an executive at Marvel Studios, previously teased that What If will be the first of many amazing animation series. So that's very great to note just to start this news bit off because uh, naturally, if they're gonna go on a limb and say that much, then obviously it's safe to assume that there are definitely other animated works in you know, the future outside of What If, because I think that already got confirmed to have a second season. Marvel Studios president for physical and post-production visual effects and animation production, Victoria Alonso, further teased the expansion of the MCU's animated branch, confirming that there will be more to come. Now, a new rumor emerged about an exciting new addition to the MCU's animated slate. So now we go into talking about the animated MCU X-Men debut. So Geeks Worldwide shared that an X-Men animated series is in development at Marvel Studio for Disney Plus and it is set to begin production in 2023. It's a lot farther along than what I'd like or I'm sure a lot of us would like to see but it is what it is. Entertainment scooper Casey Walsh previously hinted that the mutant led series was in development with him teasing that the project is fuck insane. Back then Walsh pointed out that he wasn't fully certain of this rumor as he would be reaching out to more people to seek further confirmation and clarification on this project. So obviously if this comes will it be canon? It is unknown if this rumor is true but many would agree that this is an exciting prospect especially after the success of the 90s X-Men animated series. The original X-Men series ran from 1992 to 1997 and it received praise from fans and critics ultimately helping Marvel launch numerous comic book shows. If Marvel Studios decides to move forward with the series, it will be interesting to find out which X-Men characters will be part of the lineup. The original series included the likes of Professor X, Cyclops, Wolverine, Rogue, Storm, Beast, and Jean Grey. So it's possible that these characters could also be introduced in the MCU project. It is unknown if this animated series will be part of the MCU canon. However, Marvel Studios can still surprise fans by confirming that this show is canon once the series wraps its first season. By doing this, it would allow fans to be more familiar with these characters before eventually incorporating them into live action. It remains to be seen if this X-Men series will incorporate what if animation style, but there is a chance that the crea creators behind the show could shift into a new one. A previous rumor pointed out that Marvel could transition into the realm of anime, potentially hinting that this X-Men series is a prime candidate for that shift. 
A 2023 production start could mean that the series would be part of the MCU's Phase 5, meaning mutants would be out in the open during that time. Whatever the case, there's a chance that plans for this animated series will, offic will be officially unveiled during Disney Plus Day on November 12th, 2021. So with all that in mind, I have to say that that is a lot to take in. And that's oof, just just with reading this article aloud, I am, that makes me a lot more hype because if they end up making this look like an anime, then Bruh. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm going to definitely freak out for one. But I'm looking forward to what exactly happens. I mean, there's going to be plenty of time from now until then for us to see it actually happening. And the fact that if it does play a part in the overall MCU, which I feel like it would, I feel like Marvel has been really good with including every single thing that they are obviously producing and kind of ha having it have some sort of a placeholder within the overall storyline. Especially considering seeing how crazy What If was and the fact that we are getting a second season of that, and that plays a part in the MCU. I feel like it's safe to assume that this X-Men animated series is also going to play a part in the MCU. By then, like this article suggests, that Phase 5 will, at that point, be uh, where we will see mutants live going on and about their business and whatnot. And I also want to know if they are going to like this article suggested feature and star some of the characters that made the animated series from the 90s as popular as it was and not gonna lie this would be a great opportunity to maybe even include some new characters that maybe didn't get too much of praise or too much shine or attention but i do think that kind of paying homage to the original while obviously giving us all this fresh content and whatnot and fresh stories or retellings or whatever is gonna be godlike and it's definitely gonna help the x-men series going forward and as far as being familiar i mean yes there is there are a lot of new fans i'm sure and i feel like i myself in some i don't i don't consider myself a new fan because like i said i've been watching this cartoon or this animated series since i was a kid and i'm now re-watching it again and there's so much I don't remember and it's godlike because it still holds out even to this day. I think what they said in this article does actually hold some weight that this would be a really good way to essentially reintroduce the X-Men to a lot of fans and maybe folks that didn't watch the animated series. So with all that in mind, I, I at this point, I, I want to know what you guys are thinking in the comments below. Make sure, of course, you guys are always liking, sharing, subscribing hitting that bell and make sure you guys are supporting through all the links in the description in the description below take care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked loaded right here on this channel i will definitely update you guys more if there are more rumors or added on add-ons to this developing story remember that the disney plus day is happening very very soon tomorrow as of today when i'm recording this so i will see you guys with probably a lot more marvel updates so take care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked with it right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time